Hello everyone, this is Education with AJS and today's video is about bitwise operators. So these bitwise operators are more often used in the embedded programming and there are six basic operators which I'm going to take in this video. So these six operators are often used in embedded programming. So let's go through that. So AND operator, as you can see, there is a symbol which is shown in a bracket which is used in embedded programming. So there are two inputs A and B and one output. In AND operator, either of the input is low, then the output is low or we can say that if both of the inputs are high, then the output is high. So I have given the inputs as the condition I have given to you was if both the inputs are high, then only the output is high. So we can say the three of these are zero and the last one is one. So this is the AND operator. As you can see, the last one is high as the both inputs are high, else you can see all are low. So you can see the symbol in the bracket of OR operator. This symbol is used in embedded programming similarly as for the AND operator. So there are two inputs and one output. So the condition of the OR operator is if both inputs are low, then and only the output is low, else the output is high. I have written the inputs. So what the condition I have given to you was if both the inputs are low, then and only the output is low. So as per the condition, the first one you can see both the inputs are low so the output is low else we can write high so this is the AND uh, sorry this is the OR operator as we did the first two now we are moving towards the third one so you can see the symbol in a bracket so this is the NOT operator as you can see there is only one input and one output it actually reverse the input so we can say it is a complementary so I have uh, given the inputs as per the condition I have given to you was it reverse the input so the output will be if input is low output will be high if input is high then the output is low so this is not operator As you can see the symbol in the bracket of XOR operator which is used in embedded programming. So there are two inputs and one output. As per the condition if both inputs are same then the output is low. I have given the inputs. So as per the condition if both inputs are same then the output is low. So the first and the fourth condition you can see both inputs are same. So the output will be low. And the remaining conditions having the high out outputs that means they having the alternative inputs. As you can see the symbol in the bracket that is the symbol of left shift operator and the symbol is used in embedded programming. So actually left shift operator it shifts the binary towards the left. So what that actually means let me give you the example. So I have taken the example of 67 and converted it into binary and this binary is in 8-bit mode as per the AVR microcontroller. So the binary of 67 is 0, 1, 4 times 0, double 1. If you don't know how to convert in binary, go through my previous video on this channel, how to convert decimal to binary. Now we are shifting 67 towards the left. So what we need while shifting that when we shift the number towards the left by one then or by any times so we need to release number at the left hand side that is zero you can see on the screen so this is the number zero which is being released and the number at the right hand side will be introduced and this number will be zero now i'm shifting 67 by one I have shifted 67 by 1. As you can see, the number at the left hand side in the 8 bit mode 0 was released, and the number at the right hand side is introduced that is 0. So you can see the output will be 1, 4 times 0, double 1, 0. So this is the left shift operator, and uh, moreover, we are moving towards the right shift operator. 
As you can see the symbol in the bracket, this is the symbol of a right shift operator which is used in ABIT programming. So right shift operator actually shifts the binary towards the right. So I'm taking the same example of 67 and the binary is written on the right hand side of, of it and now we are going to towards the shifting of 67. So in right shift actually one bit is released that is on the right hand side and the one bit is introduced on the left hand side and that bit is zero. So after shift the output you can see on the screen as you can see zero is introduced on the left hand side and the one which is on the right hand side is released so it is shifted it is shifted towards the right left shift actually multiplies the number by 2 so the 67 will be multiplied by 2 will be 134 so the binary which i showed you in the left shift is 134 and in the right shift actually the number that is 67 is divided by 2 so the output will be 33.5 so fraction is not allowed in this so the output will be 33